The pandemic has not canceled nature, though it is changing the way that us humans interact with it. Take the annual migration of tens of thousands of sandhill cranes through southern Colorado. The birds kept their travel plans despite the pandemic, but that annual festival where the people gather to admire them? Canceled. Aaron Herb shows us an unusual sand crane season in the San Luis Valley. The light is gorgeous. We have a beautiful sunrise. And we're surrounded by wildlife. We're surrounded in nature. Man, don't you just love Colorado? I think it doesn't get much better than this. Barbara Fleming knows what's up. She's a wildlife photographer and all around cool person. Whee! Even at 6 a.m. My dog looked at me like I was crazy, which I probably am. <laughs> Barbara is here to capture the sandhill cranes. Flapping their wings fiercely. They descend on Monte Vista National Wildlife Refuge every spring. I totally love the noise. It's mesmerizing. Look at all of them way out there. There's thousands of them. More like tens of thousands. You know, most of us have spent a year or more in isolation, having to stay home. And all we have to do is step out and just drive a little bit. And we're in a magical wonderland. This is better than Disneyland. Though the birds clearly don't know about social distancing, the people who run the area's annual crane festival do. This is so incredible. Look at all of them flying around. The event's 38th year will be held virtually, but organizers still want people like Barbara. Here they come. To spread out on this open space. I feel like I can take a deep breath and relax a little bit and feel like I'm going to be okay. You know, it gives me a sense of hope. And that's exciting. It's hard not to get caught up in Colorado. I'm a sandhill crane. The only state with rad in the middle is still rad all over. It's the place to be when there's a pandemic going on. For next, this is Ann Herbst. Ann Herbst dropped rad into a story, so she is a happy woman. The virtual crane festival begins on March 12th. The actual cranes will be down in the San Luis Valley until late March, early April. Details on both in Ann's story on 9news.com.